Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, and I am back in the workshop. Obviously I've been away since, I don't know, Thursday, Friday? I can't remember now, it feels like I've been away for months. But uh, I thought I'd start nice and easy today. So I have got the next six stages, stages 35 to 40 of the Hachette Parkworks release, and build the Batman Tumblr. <laughs> Now I haven't looked at these magazines, but unfortunately their reputation precedes them. Now if you remember in the last pack, we had done loads of wires and we were testing the wires and I've got them all here. From what I understand today, it's pretty much similar. We've got a lot of wires and I think we're going to do a lot of testing on, uh, on those wires to make sure they're working and switches and stuff. So we will discover that for ourselves. Now if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here in the video description. There's also a code on the screen there. And you can get this all the way from pack one. I think it's available. You'll have to check, because I'm not sure. But so without further ado, let's get back on the horse. Let's get cracking. So here's the Stage 35 magazine. Let's have a look through the magazine here and see what the first thing that we're going to be doing is. So as you can see in this, we've got quite a few wires in here. Uh, it looks like we're just joining the wires to their extension cables uh, and once they're all in we are going to be plugging these into the motherboard now if you remember this from last time this is what that was looking like here and that is how it's looking by the end of this stage so first thing we need is the cable which is labeled number 20 this is 35c and we've got 21 and 22 on these ends here what we're going to be doing is just matching up the numbers so i have got this LED here which is labeled number 22 so that's just going to go into the 22 slot easy as that and then it's partner which looks exactly the same number 21 I'm hoping it is 21 it's just going to go into the slot next to it so putting that to one side we've now got this ribbon cable here which is labeled 23 at one end and then on this end we've got 27 26 28 29 24 and 25 lots of numbers at the end here and it's pretty similar to what we did last time so we're going to be taking this cable here with two leds that's labeled 25 and that's going to go into the 25 plug there we've got the other cable which looks exactly like that cable but this time this one's labeled as 24 so that's going to go next to it in the 24 slot and then we've got three switches here which again are labeled up with their numbers this one's 29 so I'll just plug that into the 29 slot. Uh, this switch here, 27. This is what the switch is looking like. Put that in the 27 slot. You just know that we are going to be unplugging these later on. This one's 26. And finally, we've got 28. So bringing over the motherboard we've been working on, this end here, which is labelled 23, is just going to go into the port, which is labelled 23 here, which is this one here. It's just a case of sliding this in. And make sure it's fitted fully in there like that. The cable we made at the start, which is labelled number 20, we've just got to find number 20 there, which is here. And that's just going to slot into the port just there. So we should have four things coming out of this central board at the moment. That's all there is to do in that stage. This model has an amazing amount of electrics in it. Okay, so this is the next stage here. Just flick through and as you can see, we've got a motor, an extension cable and two switches in this one. Once again, we're gonna be adding these to that extension cable and then plugging this into the main board. So it's looking like that. This time we'll have five things coming from that board. So this time this says 33 at this end here and on the other ends it's just saying 34, 35, 36 and 37. So I want to take the motor first, just check the contacts are perfect in that, which they are, and put 36 in. Make sure that's in all the way. And I'm going to do the same with the switches I've got here. So I'm going to first off take the motor which I've got here, making sure that the Pins are okay. Yep, that looks like it's working okay. That's going to go into 35. So I'll plug that in there. Then I've got 
a switch which is labelled 36. Perfect. Another switch identical to that one which is going into 37. Which is going to leave one vacant switch here, 34, one vacant plug should I say, uh, which we don't actually put anything in at the moment. But we are going to be plugging this into the main board as well. So this is labelled 33, which means this is going into the end one just over here. Make sure that's in all the way. Perfect. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 37, here's the magazine. Have a flick through. And we've got a motor and an extension lead in this one. And it's just a case of plugging that motor in, leaving uh, plug 32 uh, vacant by the look of it. And then once again, we are plugging this into the board like that. So again, here's the extension lead. This time this one's labeled 30 on this end and 31 and 32 on this end. Get the motor again, just check the connections. They're looking good to me. And I'm going to be plugging this in. This is labelled 31. So it's going to be going into the socket that says 31. Just like that. Bring up the board again. And then number 30 is going into this one just here. So I get that in and keep it in like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. It's amazing how the reputation of this build precedes it. So you're not kidding when I say wires. This one, all there's in there is one motor, which is labelled 34. Let's look at the magazine and see what we're going to be doing with that one motor. As you can see, one motor. Uh, we're going to be plugging this motor... Uh, well, we're not. It's, it's sitting there. What are we going to do with it? Oh, no. We're going to be plugging it into that vacant slot 34 just there. And that's it. So we're doing it in that stage. And look what's coming in the next stage. Another motor on its own. So, so I think I am going to make chapter points. <laughs> Still for this, I think it can be funny. That you watch something and it will just click to another chapter point. <laughs> okay. So this is going to plug into the number 34 here. It's good that we can, all we have to do is just match up the uh, plugs with the numbers. So that's the motor in. That's all there is to do in that stage. Now we already know in this stage that we're just getting another motor looking like that. Let's see where that's going. Flick through the magazine. Oh, look, the uh, 1966 Batman build there. I like that. Here's the magazine. So this one motor here is going to be going into point 32. So once we've plugged that in, we've got motor 32. We're actually going to be plugging this ribbon cable in here as well. Uh, looks like we are plugging some other cables in and the speaker in. And we're plugging the battery box in. So by the end of it, it looks like pretty much everything has got a plug into that main board. In the next stage, we're going to start doing the remote control. And I'm guessing we're probably going to be able to test it as well. So let's plug everything else in now where it goes. So I'm looking for that vacant port that I had for 32, which is here. That's going to house this motor again, just checking the contacts. They look good. So I'll plug this 32 in here like that. Excellent. Now from previously, we had this switch cable here, which has got number 12 on it. That's going to go. I'm not doing this in the order that the book tells me now because... Uh, I know that I've got to plug everything in to this motherboard. So I'm going to be putting number 12 in number 12 there. Perfect. I'm going to grab the speaker, which is number 10. And number 10 is going to go over here. I've got this ribbon cable here, which is number 1. It's going to go over this side over here. I've got this on off switch looking like that, which is going in number five. I've got another ribbon cable here with these blue uh, cables with LEDs on, which is number seven. 
Falcons going down here. I've got this strip cable, which is labelled number six. And finally, I've got the battery box here, which is labelled number 11. So as you can see, everything has got a lead coming out of this now. Make sure that's looking good. Excellent. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Look at that mess of wires we've got there. I'm guessing in the next stage we're actually going to test this. So here's the magazine. Let's have a quick look through. And we are going to be putting one, two, three, four, five parts together. We're putting the rubber section down, the control board behind it, clipping that in, putting a battery in. I'll have to tell you what battery. It takes a 2032. I do have some of them. Then I need to put eight batteries in. I'm going to have to dig eight batteries out. These are AAA batteries. And then I guess once I've turned the switch on, I get to operate each one to see how that's working. So we're going to be doing a test of every single thing that we put in there. So I think what we're doing is let's build the remote control first. And that's a case of putting this silicon section in here. It's already been done for me. Taking the control board, and that's gonna be going on the back of this. I wanna line up that hole just there. Then I'm gonna be piecing this together by putting the back on and clipping that in. And you can have Hear that snap in, make sure the buttons press. That's good. I've got a 2032 battery, and that's basically going to be sitting into this slot here, just like that. And then I'm going to be pushing this just into the remote, make sure it goes all the way in, like that. So it's clipped in. That's armed. Now let's get eight AAA batteries. Okay, we're going to bring all of this across here. And I'm going to try and lay this out into some sort of order. <laughs> now, I'm hoping at the moment this is in the off position. I'm sure it is. But let's put all of these batteries in. Now, when I turn it on, we should have some lights come on. Lights 8, 9, 25 and 26 should come on which they do. So I basically, I'm going to turn the lights off now. We've got these two lights on both sides coming on. Now these are coming from this big ribbon cable here. And then I've got these lights here coming on, which are coming from the ribbon cable on this side just here, as you can see. Okay. Now we should also have a motor going around. Now I can hear a motor. I'm just trying to find it which is this one here. <laughs> Stand by. So there's this motor here, which is going round. Just get that out of the way. Now this one's connected to number 34. So because I'm working with motors, I will uh, turn the lights back on. Now if I take the switch, which is connected to 26, when I activate this switch, it should stop this running, which it has, and it should start this one running, <laughs> which is, I believe, number 32. You can see that's working, so that's working fine. To stop motor 32 from running, it says I need to uh, do lever 14. Let me find that one. <laughs> that's over here. So again, I'm gonna hold that so you can see. When I activate this, this should stop running, which it has. Although it started another one running, I can hear it. <laughs> Let me try and find it. That's this one here. So it started number 31 running. <laughs> to stop that one running, I need switch 29, which is here. So when I do that, that one stops running and there's no other motor running now. So that's shut all the motors off. So that test is working fine. Now we get to actually try the remote control. So when I press the headlight button, I'm guessing some lights are going to turn on or off. They do. So as you can see, these lights here, on, off, on, off. So that's the headlights. The spotlight, that's these two here. They've come on no problems at all. One and two. We've got the jet boost. That's this. Did you hear the speaker came on then? Try again. 
So let's go red to blue with the speaker firing. Excellent. That's jet boost. Then I've got the motors running. So when I put left, that one runs. When I put right, that one goes the other way. When I do spoiler, don't know what that was. Spoiler. What was spoiler? It's made this motor run and it made a noise. <laughs> I don't know. Spoiler. It says mark the last button spoiler. What does that do? The spoiler button activates the motor, which could turn clockwise or anti-clockwise, hence the name in our case. So you don't know which way it's coming. That's why it's called spoiler. <laughs> I've got cockpit. Now cockpit is going to make number 31, motor 31 spin, which is done there. I'm just working my way down the list. We've got dashboard light, which has turned on this massive strip light here and all of these lights here. And the last button I haven't pressed is cannon. And that's going to operate the speaker there. <laughs> that's excellent. So, as you can see, that's a successful test. Everything's working. Let me just turn this off. And I'm guessing we don't have to worry about electrics for the rest of the build. But I do think that means that we're going to have to now take off some of these wires to actually install them in the car ready to go back into the circuit board but they want us to check everything works so that was a successful test eight batteries and you do need a cr2032 battery that's the end of that stage that's the end of that pack so what do you think now all the batteries and sorry all the wires in one go i kind of like the idea of that unfortunately i don't like the idea that that was whole one pack so we've had all the wires just in one pack so there's not really a lot to do if you were to spread them around uh, during the build and had them as they as we need them, we wouldn't have had a chance to test them. So I do like the way that's been done. Um, I would have preferred them to be packed more into like rather than six packs into two packs and perhaps uh, lower the number of issues this takes. I know that's going to up the monthly price for it, but um, I don't know. What's your thoughts on that? But uh, we've had a successful test. I'm guessing in the next stages, now we've done the electrics and the remote, we're going to go back to working on the vehicle. If you want to get this for yourself, once again, as I said, I have put a link in the video description. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.